Okay guys, so this video is actually sponsored by SebiMods. SebiMods is 100% safe, rated 4.7 on Trustpilot, and they have multiple services, such as account boost, modded accounts, and modded packages. Their prices are super cheap, as some of them shown on screen. They also provide for both old gen and new gen. And also, if you were to use my code GKN at checkout, you'll get another 10% off, and it would really help me out. But now, without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Hey, yo guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy GKN back with another banger. In this video, I'm going to be showing y'all a very easy solo card duplication glitch. Now, guys, before I get into this glitch, I wanted to tell you that actually at the moment, I am giving away a free that's right, free $45 modded account. And this account will be given away at 500 subscribers. I'm only 20 away at the moment. So be sure to enter before I hit that goal. And because when I do, you'll no longer be able to enter. A random winner will be chosen. And all you need to do to enter is like this video, subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment down. You'll automatically be entered into the giveaway. And unfortunately, guys, this giveaway is only for PlayStation at the moment, but hopefully in the future, I can make more, I can buy more accounts for other platforms as well. But now let's get straight into the glitch. Okay, so the first thing you just need to do is get into the vehicle which you are duplicating and then press left on the D-pad inside, inside of your facility to go into your Avenger. Once you're on the screen to customize, just change one thing on the vehicle and then exit the Avenger. It does not matter what it is, I recommend changing the plate since it's the cheapest. But also guys, I do recommend using custom plates since these will be dirty dupes. And also, be sure to use Arena War vehicles if you want to make a lot of money because other vehicles don't really make you much. But now, without further ado, let's get back into the video. So basically, once you have done that and exited the um, Avenger, you're going to want to head back inside of the vehicle. And then this time, instead of customizing it, you're going to want to drive it outside of your facility, just as I'm about to right now. So once you're outside, all you need to do is get out of the vehicle, hold down your D-pad, go to vehicles, and then return your personal vehicle to storage. Once you have done that, you're going to bring up your phone and then call your mechanic. And request a vehicle which you do not mind losing, just do not request it from your facility. Also guys, your facility needs to be through to your garage, you uh, this need might not work. And as you guys can see here, I only have one allergy inside of this garage. At the end of the video, I'll get there as soon as I can. The glitch, this I, allergy I'll get will back be to work. turned into the duplicate. But now, once you request it, all you need to do is drive it inside of your facility. And since it's Halloween, guys, like the Halloween update is already here, let me put on a Halloween mask for the rest of the video. While you're driving it inside, it should give an error saying facility full. Just accept that error and then wait for this loading screen to end. When that loading screen has ended, it should put you on another screen like this saying replace a vehicle. Just replace any vehicle but not the vehicle which you are duplicating. Once you have done that, just walk over to your EC or whatever vehicle you're duplicating. And once at the vehicle which you're duplicating, press left on the D-pad once again. But this time, when it spawns you inside of your Avenger, you should be glitched and your vehicle should not be there. And you're basically standing there on foot, just as just it's about to do to me right now. And as you guys can see right here, my vehicle is not here, only my character. Once you have done this, like until this part successfully, just go ahead and walk over to this door over here. Press X one time and then it should put you on a little black screen, go away and now just wait AFK until it puts you on another black screen and teleports you to your facility and from your facility to a random location on the map. But basically just wait AFK here until it teleports you. As you guys can see here, after two teleportations, it te teleported me to this location on the map. So basically, once you're here, you're going to pull up your phone, call your mechanic, and then request a free allergy. It can be the same allergy as before, just do not 
just don't request a LG that is inside of your facility, otherwise it will not work. But basically, once you request the vehicle, you're going to want to job teleport over to your maze bank tower. Now, here's a problem many of you guys have had. Either you guys did not have the maze bank tower or you had an, another type of CEO office. It will not work like that. You need to have the maze bank tower. And also, I've heard a lot of you say that it will not work with helicopters or other transporting vehicles. You need to job teleport. But basically, once you request the vehicle, just drop teleport over there. If you do not know how to do that, don't don't worry. You can check out my channel. I also have a video uploaded on that too. You can do that very easily. But now, let me just drop, drop teleport and I'll get back to you guys once I'm there. Okay, so once you're at your maze bank tower, you're going to want to walk over to any vehicle on the street. It does not matter whatever vehicle it is, just any vehicle and steal it off of them to put it inside of your garage. As you guys can see over here, this vehicle is closest to me, so I'm just going to steal this one. But like I said, it does not matter. It doesn't need to be this exact vehicle, just any vehicle off the street. It does not matter. So just drive it into your maze bank tower and your maze bank doesn't need to be full only your um, facility needs to be full but mine already is so just even if it's full you can accept the alert it will still work so basically after this little loading screen it should put you on another glitch screen which will teleport you back to your facility so basically just wait afk here for a little while let me show you and there we go it teleported me back to my facility now, if you cannot move at this moment, that means your glitch has basically messed up and you haven't done it successfully, so your car wouldn't be duplicated. But if it you can move like after the first and last like loading thingy, that means you have done it successfully to this part. Now, all you need to do to save your duplicate is walk over to the vehicle, press right D-pad, and then change one thing like I'm about to right now. And after you have changed one thing, you're going to want to go ahead and then exit your facility. There you go. I changed one thing and then exit the facility. And there you go, guys. You have now successfully duplicated your vehicle. It is that easy and quick, guys. And just to show you more proof that this glitch actually has worked, I'm going to call my mechanic and show you that the vehicle or the allergy from before has now turned into a feature shock issue. Issy. So basically, this one I'm driving right here right now. This is the original, and the allergy from before is the duped one. So as you guys can see in my garage, the allergy has turned into a future shock issy. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you guys want to be notified for any of my future uploads, be sure to hit that notification bell. But now, as always, I'll see you guys in the next upload. Peace.